Dear paper presenters, faculty members, and non teaching staff of our college, dear students, we are in the second day of national seminar on the topic Quest uh, for Career Opportunities in Humanities and Social Science Study Problems and Prospects of Northeast India. You are most welcome to the second day of our seminar. Uh, we are happy that uh, among us, uh, uh, Sir Jiganpalda Sir, he is the renowned person of Guwahati University. He is from the Department of Zoology and he is the head of the department. I am requesting you to come over the dice and take his chair. So please. I am also requesting Sir Manasyam Nath to come over the dice and take a chair, please sir. So please. I am also requesting our principal sir, Dr. P. P. Panda, to come over the dice and please take a seat. Without wasting time, we would like to start our presentation because sir is also busy and before starting our presentation, we would like to felicitate our distinguished guest. I would like to invite uh, Ms. Priti Kupan to felicitate sir with a full angamu sir. You can call the sir with a full angamu sir. I have called upon Priti to give a file to the Gen Gunta sir. Awesome. So, Professor Zubin Gunta sir. I request uh, Sir Nika Kovita to uh, felicitate our principal sir, Dr. Bibi Panda, with a full angamu sir. I would like to call upon uh, Priti again to give a Pulang Gavosa to our Manasyam Nansar. I call upon Sir Nika Kolita to give a Pulang Gavosa to Dr. Fierce of Property, sir. Without wasting much time, I would uh, like to hand over today's uh, paper presenters, list of today's paper presenters to uh, Dr. Professor Zugan Kolta sir. And uh, I am also requesting to uh, give a few uh, words, uh, deliver a few words to Dr. Zugan Kolta sir. Sir, please. Sir, you can speak from there, sir. So, good morning, everybody. Thank you, Dr. Lupo. Honorable Principal Dr. Panda. Distinguished guest Dr. Nath, Dr. Sobhrabhuti, and as the participant friends from across the country, and also my dear faculty members and students. I am really very really happy when this college requested me to come over to this national seminar offline. Because we did many things during COVID pandemic period. That was a lockdown, very critical period we had in our life and I hope that that will not come again. And during that period also we are planning many, many digital platforms and seminars, national, international on various issues. But today's issue is very specific. We want to talk about ourselves. We want to talk about our opportunities. When we want to talk about our opportunities, we need to know our strengths. What is our strengths? So that analysis is very important. And our strength in is our diversity. Diversity in action, diversity in culture, diversity in people. So those are our strengths and we need to maintain the harmony. So that is one of the challenges. How to maintain that? How to create opportunities? And what are our weaknesses? Weaknesses, one of the many, there are many, but one most important weakness is that 
we do not think that we are important. Our students may, may never feel their potential. And we the teachers and the experts in this region very seldom we talk about our weakness and we do not like to encourage our students. Always we feel that we do not have this, we do not have that, we need more, but we need to do more with this. That is another challenge we have. How to do more with less? The National Education Policy also talks about quality. Why quality? Because we from artists need to contribute to national development. We have students, 3,000, or in his college work, when he was the principal, 3,000 plus students, in one single college. And ultimately when we assess that how many of them are successful in national competitive examinations, UPSC, or many others, then we find that only very few, two, five, six, this year I think only two or three. So that way, the national contribution in various aspects, including academics also. And then fostering to international competitiveness, student competency, that is another area. If we focus on student competencies, then only we can see many opportunities in future. Otherwise, very difficult. So, potential we have, but we need to develop that. So, why to develop potential? If we develop potential, we can get the quality. Otherwise, we have many things, but we are not realizing. So that will not give us anything. So as I say, the diversity in culture, diversity in people, in the same way, in the resources also. We, from Northeast, we are resourceful region. And biodiversity, as I am from geology, if you talk about biodiversity, it is one of the hot spots, which is very important. Who recognized this? Cambridge University. In 2000, they realized that this part of the world, they were contributing in lakhs. Every one of them were contributing in 5 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 20 lakhs, even more than that. So that way, if we can create our students to that level, your college will be getting many, many engagement from alumni. Alumni engagement is very important today. Suppose you are creating students, they are successful, but you have no connection. That is not important. National education policy says that you need to develop that particular internship where our students are supposed to work in at IIT. Then you need to connect those students who can help our present day students. So that internship is also very important. So when we discuss those things, these problems and prospects, that internship may be one of the okay, prospects. That way we need to connect and to develop projects. Money is not a problem. If you can focus very good ideas, then I think many, many funding agencies will find fund you, including NEC. NEC is very important for Assam and Northeast, so therefore develop project, green project, develop facilities, and create good human being. That good human being is the ultimate aim of NEP 2020, that is holistic, a holistic approach that putting adding values because we need to add values and value addition is very very important. I hope that all departments of this particular college and all participant trains from coming from various colleges will develop their own certificate course, value addition course, also professional courses of their own. Even I as a person can develop one course and if you can develop one online course which is called MOOC. Doctor of India will support you with 13 lakhs of rupees. If you want to develop good with the help of IIT, that laboratory and all, even then, Doctor of India will support you with 13 lakhs of rupees. It is not that only university professor can do. Even as a teacher from a college, you can help the government. 
government of India. That will be contribution to national development to NEP 2020. So that's where we need to think that we are important. Again, what I started that our problem is that our students they never feel that they are important. Parents they never say that parts of uh, scholars already got the PhD degree under Jugend Kolkasar and uh, two number of students got, uh, awarded the MPhil degree. And uh, uh, sir, uh, if we see the academic performance of sir, then we find uh, sir secured the first class first position in PhD in geology. Secured first class first position with university academic gold medal in MSc in geology under Guwahati University. Obtained JRF in the Department of uh, Reproductive Biology, AIMS, New Delhi. Awarded with a Commonwealth Academic Staff Scholarship. And PhD degree in 1998 from King's College London, University of London, UK. Postdoctoral Research Associateship at the King's College London. And awarded from the Royal Society London. INSS India for a short visit to UK. He has participated and uh, participated and presented in a number of national and international seminars. Delivered more than 500 lectures in colleges and universities and uh, uh, schools on education, science, technology, and career opportunities for school, college, and university students. And Sir is the president of Guwahati University Teachers Association during 2015-16 and coordinator of the University Overseas Alumni Association and uh, Sir have uh, three, uh, more than three years of working experience as the director, uh, director of College Development Council Guanti University Guanti. and uh, uh, Sir have life membership in uh, Geological Society of Assam member of the Society of uh, Stability and Fertility UK Life member of the Geological Society of Calcutta, Calcutta University, Life member of Assam Science Society, Life member of the Biotechnological Society of Northeast India, etc. Sir, uh, we are very, uh, very happy that uh, you are among with us and uh, hope uh, our presenters and uh, our faculty members will be benefited from Sir. Very good morning, good one. Professor Gaur Jogan Tantra Padita of Guwahati University, respected Dr. Ghanasyam Nath Sir, retired <coughs> principal from KC Das Commerce College. He was also principal of Guwahati Commerce College. My colleague Dr. Dinesh Chakravarti, respected delegates from different colleges and institutions my colleagues from this college and dear students, friends from PES. In this fine morning, we are fortunate enough to have among us Dr. Sign for the mental health of the students. On the other hand, it, is, it has never been forced that, that make it unsuitable for the specific field of study that needs lab or hand-on instruction. So, uh, I will conclude this paper uh, with this finding that the most remote and the poorest area must have access to the digital capabilities, infrastructure and the connection. Access to the proper internet should not, should not, should no longer be a luxury. So as we know, after this COVID pandemic, even we were continuing with this e-learning process, but uh, from my perspective or this study perspective, I got to know that this, this uh, access to this internet should not be luxury like uh, in this recent or the future times. On the other hand, India isn't yet ready to digitalize platform to bring education because still uh, we know in most of the rural parts they are, they are not accessible to the bandwidth or the network, uh, good network. So uh, India isn't yet ready to digitalize platform to bring education to every corner of the country. Very quick, time to go to time to in minutes, okay? Good luck. Thank you, sir. So, uh, good morning, everyone. The respected jury, President Nadais, and respected faculty members, the paper presenters, and the scholars present in the seminar hall. I'm here to present uh, a paper titled Balanced Global Journey of Students Surpassing the Hegemony of COVID 19. So, uh, this is a joint paper. Uh, me and uh, former friend, Palash Mehdi, 
I'm a senior computer science from Purdue College. So this is an introduction. I will briefly go through the uh, introduction. So COVID-19 is one of the deadliest virus the world has seen, which caused impact on different areas such as finance, education, etc. Particularly in education, the sudden shutdown of all schools, colleges, and universities uh, had a huge loss for the students. More than one academic year has been not, has now been lost by the students. So the, the methodology is a, an explore, exploratory and a descriptive analysis of the topic. The study based on secondary resources and is collected from different journals, magazines, and authentic sources. The purpose of the study, the study all frameworks have qualities and shortcomings. Augmenting qualities and limiting shortcomings altogether, not to poach the chance to push ahead or to be the objective. The fundamental motivation behind the review is to investigate the effect of the effect of COVID-19 on the Indian education system. It covers the effect of COVID-19 on rustic and metropolitan students, higher training institutions. The first uh, point of this paper is the transitional phase from reality to the virtual world. The quick change is always problematic. As said by the Ellen James paper, the, te the teaching and teachers' education at the time of COVID-19 says the sudden change has led to the significant intensified workload for the staff as they work to not only move teaching content and material into online space, but also became signif uh, significantly adapt in navigating the requisite softwares. So, uh, the epidemic has revealed the shortcomings and the weaknesses of the contemporary education system. Similarly, the student has, uh, student has faced difficulties to the sudden shift from the reality to the virtual world, uh, where oftentimes left out. So, as we know, the resources have uh, become luxury to accommodate. So, the way school colleges closed uh, those from the low-income families were oftentimes left out. This problem reveals several flaws and injustice in our educational system. The privileged got chance to adopt the chance. The privileged got the chance to adopt the chance efficiently, efficiently, but on the other hand, the poor families and their children suffered from the crisis, ranging from the ranging from the lack of proper network access to the mismatch of resources and requirements. The teachers have to adjust to new pedagogical uh, concept and technique of communication that they may not have trained for. Which we know, the new uh, with the new era of virtual world, the teachers need to adapt with a new language communication, with a new way of communication, new way of uh, handle the resources. As we know, we have uh, used so many resources during the COVID-19 platform, such as the Zoom, the Google Classroom. So. Uh, I think uh, the teachers adapted to the new uh, communication system and the new language of these online resources. Now I will move to the good aspects of the e-learning. So the online education allow for learning something beyond the norms. As we know, it has deep resources. It has enormous resources which we can access. But it needs a proper guidance and with a proper uh, way to proceed. So the online education allows... On the all the judges present in the dais and to all the research scholars who are here to present the paper. So myself, Rafia Faruqi. Today I am standing here in front of you to give a brief presentation on the topic career opportunities through livestock and poultry farm in rural Assam. This is actually a joint paper. It is written. It is a joint paper. Uh, it is written by Ms. Loza Ahmed, associate professor. Department of Economics, Vipisolia College, Navarra, and myself, Rafia Faraghi, and I am standing here to present this paper. So, as we all are aware of the term livestock, so what is livestock? So, uh, livestock actually refers to all the animals kept on the farm for use and profit. Um, that means, uh, it means that all the animals we farm on the farm are collectively called livestock. Livestock plays a very crucial role in the economy of Assam. In villages, livestock has a huge market value and poultry is a form of animal husbandry to produce meat and eggs. 
so it is very high in uh, huge uh, it has a very huge global demand in whole area so uh, it also contributes 6% uh, of the rural households in developing countries it contributes to the livestock of about 1.7 billion uh, poor people while 70% of the total livestock uh, means uh, employed uh, the employers are basically women so they are also engaged in this sector. Uh, it can also provide transport to various uh, means, uh, transport to produce various fuels also. Uh, this sector also uh, plays a major role in re reducing poverty, improving resilience, etc. Uh, livestock is also one of the fastest growing sectors in agriculture. It also generates job opportunities in uh, in the related sectors like transport, trade, food, yeah, and also in veterinary sciences. Uh, but due to certain limited requirements, uh, means the poor people or the rural people, they generally use the uh, short uh, cycle species uh, so that they can get the uh, means income very easily or very means in a short period of time. Uh, yes, also, as Assam is an agrarian economy, as Assam has an agrarian economy, so the importance of livestock should be improved for employment and income generation. As I have already mentioned, that means it generates income in uh, means in income or uh, means employment. Uh, as we all know, that means research scholars, respected teachers of uh, my dear students and general public in now i am going to present the impact of new education policy in short area of lower assam with special reference to border country a sociological study education is the key tool of social transformation it empowers the individuals not only to earn bread and butter but also enable them to grow, proper, uh, grow, prosper, and excel in the long run. Many initiatives have been taken by the central government and state government to improve satisfactory for the improvement of education in India. So, Sapuri are low-lying, flat, and erosion-prone area in or above adjacent to the river. Porpeta district of Lower Assam consists of 351 short villages as per socioeconomic survey report 1992-93. Various reports and research have shown that the socioeconomic condition of the people in the riparian area is very much disappointing. The union government adopted a new education policy 2020 after 34 years of the last education policy of 1984-86. It is claimed that the new education, the NEP 2020 will change the Indian education structure at all level of education starting from school level to higher, higher education. Education has been observed as a crucial development tool in India, education. All of you, sorry, one minute. All of you are requested to listen only. You cannot talk. There will be only one presentation. Please do not talk because we here giving you our precious time. Education system is comprises of uh, private uh, two sectors, public and private. In many. Many uh, efforts have been taken to the, uh, by the government uh, to improve the education system of uh, public sector. Uh, many efforts means uh, in the schools. Uh, there are some many uh, midday meal. Uh, which includes four villages. Secondary data are collected from various reports of government of Assam 
Government of India Research Article, etc. Universal Dust Study. The Universal Dust Study is told total household in Alukuti Major Sir which is 4,139. Sample size against the Universal Dust Study is 10%, which is 414 households selected randomly. Four case studies are also uh, given by, uh, by taking uh, which uh, taking interview with uh, four headmasters from four schools uh, from each villages. Discussion and anal analysis. After it is found that the 4.6 percent of total area of state is covered by uh, sod area. 87 percent. Uh, Alokuti major sir, uh, 87% inhabitants of Alokuti major sir are Bengali Muslim and the rest are Desi Muslim, Korea Muria and uh, Sileti Muslim which belong to minority community. All of you, respected chairperson sir and all the dignitaries, I would like to thank for uh, giving, me the, giving me this opportunity for presenting this paper and my paper title is Digital Initiative of the UGC and MHRD for e-learning during COVID crisis in India and overview. Recently, the whole world has faced the deadliest and dangerous consequences due to the trans transmission of infectious novel coronavirus, it has significantly disrupted the education sector, which is a critical determinant of a country's economic future. Most governments around the world have temporarily closed educational institutions to control the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. To prevent spread of pandemic COVID-19, the government of India has taken a number of preventive measures the Indian government declared a countrywide lockdown of all educational institutions on 16th March 2020. Almost all state government ministers have taken measures to ensure that the academic activities of schools and colleges do not hamper during the lockdown period. In this regard, UGC and Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India have jointly released a list of digital initiatives which can be freely accessed by teachers, students, researchers for broadening their horizon of knowledge. It is important that these digital platforms are already available but they become the need of the hour during COVID crisis. The digital initiative of MHRD and UGC for school students as well as UGC PG level education are as follows SWAM, UG, PG, MOOCs, uh, EG, Path, e, PG, Path Sala, Consortium for Educational Communication, CEC, UGC YouTube channel, SWAM Prabha, National Digital Library of India, NDLI, Sol Kanga, a reservoir of Indian thesis, e Sort Sindhu, and Vidwan. Today I will briefly discuss about the system approach of the different digital platform um, that is adopted by UGC and MHRD. First one is SWAM. The full form of SWAM is study waves of active learning for young aspiring minds. The SWAM is a digital platform developed by Ministry of Human Resource Development. Very good morning to everyone present here. So, uh, as we have uh, chosen the title, Hidden Paradise Under Unreal Clouds. India's Northeast and its obstacle towards philanthropy. So, as we know, India is a diverse, you know, region. So, India is a principally agrarian economy with a large proportion of its citizens associated with agricultural activities. It is a very similar in the northeastern part of the country, with agriculture being the primary source of sustenance for a vast majority of the uh, population. Sir, we have not prepared slides. Yeah. 
So, uh, development has three different goals to fulfill. In the first place, it should ensure availability of resources, not only for the current generation, but also for the generation to come, for the next generation. So, the major uh, area of concern for quality in education, which is common to the all uh, eight states, is the uh, presence of large number of untrained teachers, especially at the elementary level. So, uh, basically, uh, in this paper, the main aim which I attempted is to analyze few uh, issues of economies, which is a changing situation, and to uh, examine uh, future possibilities and suggest innovative people-centric policy in terms of career development and job opportunities. As we know, uh, Northeast uh, is a collective town which is used for the eight states of India, namely Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Meghalaya, Assam, Nagaland, and Tripura. So, uh, Northeast India is strategically important, and no other part of India occupies such a strategic position as the Northeast. So, uh, basically, what are the problems which we are facing? Uh, identity crisis is one of the most uh, major uh, problems when when, when uh, Northeastern uh, students like when they uh, want to pursue higher studies, when they want to go to uh, other uh, states, then they always uh, listen to hear some kind of comments, slurs, which are uh, like. The next presenter is requested to be ready. Good afternoon everyone. My topic for today's presentation is Academic Bank of Credit and its role in shaping new academic career in India in light of National Education Policy 2020. So the contents are introduction, objective, database, methods, results and discussion. So it will be unfair to call it as a research paper because this is an article. So let's start with the introduction. What is Academic Bank of Credit? So before going to what is Academic Bank of Credit, we'd like to give a brief like on what is National Education Policy 2020 and how it came into line. So our education policy is framed in a regular interval of time. Uh, initially after independence, it was framed in 1962. Then again, national policy on education was framed in 1986 which was again restructured in 1992 and in 2015 a body under eminent scientist K. Kasturi Ranga framed the national education policy which was adopted by government of India in 2020 20 July. So the national education policy as everyone in earlier speeches and also our honorable chairperson told me focuses on skilled graduates and uh, quality work. So, the ambition and the behind the scene uh, motive is to give students more opportunity. So, from the perspective, this policy was from the perspective of students. So, to make that more efficient, one a specific uh, system scheme was introduced that is Academic Bank of Credit. So this is inside it, this is a part of national education policy. Uh, what Academic Bank of Credit is about, it is a online or virtual depository of student records. <coughs> so this will give ample chance to all the students to to finish their course in Unlimited time, so they will have multiple entry and multiple exit options. They will have uh, option of selecting different institutions or in, uh, or universities. So the main objective of this paper is, or this article is to understand the need of new scheme of academic bank of credit in light of present academic scenario and discuss its role in shaping new generation through implementation of national education policy 2020. So, data is basically, as we all know, this is the government publications or internet sources. The methodology is qualitative, analytical, and descriptive. So, to start with, what are the objective of academic bank of credit? First, 
to promote student-centric education. As I told earlier, this is the objective of national education policy also, to give more opportunity to students. Next. Respected chairperson and my fellow presenters and students, uh, my topic is online teaching learning in India, status, challenges and opportunities. Uh, so, my contents are introduction, objective, methodology, status of online education, challenges, opportunities and conclusions. So, introduction, uh, first introduction, I would like to say that uh, online teaching learning in India has been from many last year, last 10 years, from last decades. Uh, so, uh, it was first introduced in India from the education uh, which is uh, education satellite. So, after the COVID breakdown or lockdown, uh, the process of online teaching has been developed and it has tremendously increased in the last uh, last two years. So, with the lockdown, we have seen that online teaching learning has been introduced in all over the colleges, different institutions and different methods of learning has been seen in the institution. So, as objective uh, to understand the present status of online education in India, to assist the online learning initiatives of the Indian government, and to observe the major challenges faced during online teaching and learning. Uh, the methodology is basically descriptive and uh, collected source from secondary information as well as from newspaper and articles. The first uh, status of online teaching and learning in India. So we have seen the different status of online teaching and learning in India and seen different methodology has been adopted in different situations. The first I have seen this growth of blended learning. So what is blended learning is face-to-face uh, -face activities. It also online activities also within a classroom teaching environment. So we have seen with the COVID breakdown, different institutions have used the blended method of education and uh, different uh, colleges have used, uh, the different institutions have used the online method of teaching as well as in our colleges, we have seen, uh, we have used the blended method. Also, see uh, on the guys and all the participants present in the seminar hall and my dear students. I am going to discussing about my research paper on slide PP slide. Agriculture research paper is prospect of agriculture to solve unemployment problem against the leak in Khaviri Hills near Nagorka Cycle. Introduction of the topic. India is the second largest population country after China in the world. More than 2100 crores. Occupied only 2.1% of the total land of the world, whereas 16.2% of the population live in India. There is a huge demand of food crops in India, and major percent of population are suffering by unemployment problems. Agriculture helps the prospective to solve the demand of food crops and opportunity to minimize the unemployment problems. Almost 70% of the total population are engaged in the agricultural sector. Rice is a staple crop of Northeast India. Therefore, agricultural scientists invented HYB high yielding variety seeds for cultivators. The paper tries to analyze about the opportunity to minimize the unemployment problems of and development of socio-economic condition by agriculture in the study area. Rice culture is the most important crop of the study area. The socio-economic conditions are directly depending on rice culture. It is an easy and good area where people are directly engaged to earn their price. Statement of the problem. Selection of research study is important for statement of the problem. The statement of the problem is given as, as a clear knowledge about an research area. The word statement implies that why and how studied about the points of a selected topic. Researchers studied about agricultural perspective and with relation of minimize to the unemployment problems and socioeconomic development in Khamiri Villas and the Nagarbara Revenue Circle area. The people of the areas face various types of agricultural and unemployment problems. The cultivators and cultivator laborers 
survived some natural and other man-made problems. The main problems of the study area are transport and communication problems, lower rate of fertility, uneducational problems, educational problem, financial problem, etc. The major statement of the problem. I am going to my seminar paper on NEP 2020 and in, in impacts on higher education in India. First of all, introduction. On July 29th, 2020, the Indian education system, what is a historical decision made by the Indian cabinet, the new educational policy. On this day, the Ministry of Education announced the major reforms in the educational structure under newly laid National Educational Policy 2020. The new educational policy of the, of replaces the previous National Policy on Education 1986. The National Educational Policy 2020 is comprehensive framework for elementary to higher education as well as vocational training in both rural and urban India. The policy is the first inclusive participatory and holistic approaches that reforms the existing educational structure. The NEP 2020 takes into consideration different fields like experiences, empirical research, stakeholders, feedback, and lessons from best factories. The NEP 2020 mainly focuses on five pillars as affordability, accessibility, quality, equity, and accountability, or to ensure continued learning. It has been crafted consistent with the needs of the citizens as a demand for knowledge in society and economy called for a need to acquire new skill on a regular basis. Thus, providing quality education and creating life positive and long-lasting impact on higher education. The fact that foreign universities will allow to open campuses in India is a commendable initiative by the government. The policy of introducing multiple respected their person and fellow resource person and my participant thank you everyone my topics new national education policy 2020 and pressure of private institution in India A national education policy 2020 is one of the basic policy was announced by the Ministry of Human Resources Development. The policy is aimed at transforming the Indian education system to meet the needs of 21st century. Though the new education policy 2020 seeks to bring the holistic change in the education system of India, but according to the report of India today, 47.01% students go to the private institutions. Most of them prefer to go lower and upper primary sector, even secondary and higher secondary level institutes flexibly to read at same time science, arts, and commerce would be possible for all private institutes to be question mark along with other subjects better. Ministry of Human Resource Development released the new education policy 2020 on July 29th. This 66 page revolutionary document seeks to undo the damage of budget to our education system over the years through distrust policies. From 1968, first new education policy to new education policy 2020. Various major sense of in Indian education. Like Indian society, categories of institution are miscellaneous in nature. There are roughly two types of private schools in India: central, state, or local. Private aided and private unaided. Private aided schools are low in number as per report of the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. 
in lower primary level 43 percent in upper primary level 46 percent in secondary level 46 percent and higher secondary level 64 percent is still referred to for private school a study of private schools and university are not different 66 percent student study in private college more than 55 percent student of india prefer to go private I am just uh, going to briefly uh, mention about the uh, topic and the speaker who have uh, presented yesterday. Uh, yesterday there were a total of seven uh, presentations were there. Uh, first one is by Dr. Parish Mita Sharma. She has presented on music education, problems and prospects in Northeast India. The second one is a study on the scenario of COVID-19 online education and its impact on career opportunities presented by Marjina Ahmed and Dr. Rina Kolita. Following that, there was uh, a presentation on career opportunities as a vegetable wholesale in Kamrup Metro presented by Gola Omar Ahmed and Dr. Prashanta Sharma. Followed by that, a reflective discussion on literature as a career, its choices chances and challenges. The presenter was Mr. Lokesh Kalita. Following that, there was another uh, presentation on career opportunities in library and information science with special reference to Northeast India, presented by Dr. Alakesh Roy. Next one is Humanities in Social Sciences in National Education Policy. 2020. Uh, she was accompanied by Firoza Ahmed and the paper focused on career opportunities through livestock and poultry farm in rural area where uh, a comprehensive and collaborative venture from locals, various NGOs and educated persons, uh, knowledge in this field could help and come up with many, various opportunities in livestock were discussed. Third paper was presented by Mrs. Urmi Datta and she was accompanied by T.R. Gogoi where she focused on the impact of new education policy in char areas of Lower Assam with special reference to Borbeta district, a, sociologic, a sociological aspect where uh, she discussed about how char areas are uh, lagging behind and how there is an importance and different challenges in the implement, implementation of new education policy. So, uh, uh, fourth paper was presented by Rudrani Chaudhary, where digital initiative of the UGC and MHRD for e-learning during COVID crisis in India and overview was presented, where she emphasized on the system approach of the digital platform adopted by the UGC and MHRD in its impact on the entire scholarly community of the country were discussed. Fifth paper was Hidden Paradise Under Unreal Clouds, India's Northeast and its obstacle toward philanthropy. It was presented by uh, it was presented collaboratively by Noor Nazibur Rahman and Shemima Akhtar, where she discussed about how what are the various hindrances in this aspect and how education can be one of the significant contribution for human access improvement were discussed. Sixth paper was presented by Dr. Biman Lankar and it was on ABC and its role in shaping a new academic scenario in India. The article uh, dealt with one of the most exciting features of North New Education Policy 2020 called ABC, Academic Bank of Credit. How ABC has the provision of generating a digital infrastructure and all its aspects were discussed. Seventh paper was on online teaching, learning in India, status, challenges and opportunities and it was presented by Sachin Boro Chaudhary. The, the paper discussed on how online teaching is the, in the last decade has been growing tremendously due to advancement in technology and widespread uses of internet were discussed. The eighth paper was on prospect of agriculture to solve unemployment problem, where a case study was taken uh, on uh, Nagarvera Revenue Circle, Kamrup, and it was presented by Ganesh Chandradas, where what are the problem in this aspects, their identification and measures need to be taken to cope with these problems were discussed. And ninth paper was on new education policy 2020, 
impact on higher education in India. It was presented by Sheikh Sofiyur Rahman and it, it is a joint paper where uh, the other uh, presenter, uh, the other person accompanying him was Mohammad Jakir Hussain. This paper discussed how a new education policy is expected to bring positive and la long lasting impact on higher education system of the countries were discussed. Last but not the least, new, uh, the last paper was new education policy and future of private institution. Uh, sorry, pri private institution and it was presented by Ahmed Ali Bhuiya. So this fo paper focused on the importance of new education policy 2020, but it also focused on how numbers are inclining toward private institutions and how new education policy will help in focusing toward this problem and its solution when dis discussed. Thank you so much all the dear participants for focusing on all multidisciplinary topic which ultimately focus on career opportunities in humanities and social science and how they, this can be explored further when discussed. Thank you so much. মানে <laughs> ইন্সপিরেশন পায় আর পালে আমি কাম করার কারণে উৎসাহিত 
আজি পেপার আজি আজ হেরি মানে রাখবা পড়ছো গতি খুব ভাল লাগছে যে এনে মানুষ এজন মানে ইয়াকে আজ হঠাৎকে পাইছো মানে যেটা বহুদিন আগতে লোক কলেজ ইন্সপেকশনতে গেছিল একটা সময় গতিতে সকলকে তেন কয় আর এই আজি ইয়াতে এক্সেপশন নয় তো নেচারে যে গতি খুব ভাল লাগিছে আর আজি হঠাৎকে পাইছো মানে মানে জানো কালি মানে দেখি কোয়ালিটির উপর হিপির কোয়ালিটির উপর লিখিছে গতি সে পড়ি পেল মানে খুব আরে উৎসাহিত হয়েছো আর তার মানে ভাবিছিল রাতে ফোন করো না কিন্তু ইমান ভাল লাগিল কালি মানে স্বরত গেছিল গতি এখানে মানে ক্লান্ত হয়ে পেলাই একু নকলো আর এটা আজি ভাল লাগিছে কিন্তু মানে একটা অনুরোধ করবো খুঁজিছো বোধহয় আমার ভিভি চলিয়া কলেজ এই গোল্ডেন জুবিলি হ্যাঁ কারণ আমার গুয়াহী কমার্স কলেজ সিক্স সিট আছে গোল্ডেন জু ফাউন্ডেশন গতি তারমানে আমি হেরি টুয়েলভ টু থাউজেন্ড টুয়েলভ তার গোল্ডেন জুবিলি পাতিছিল আর আপনার হেরি কি কয় বিপি চলিয়া কলেজ হেরি উনৈশ বাহাত্তর সনত এস্টাবলিশ গতি তারে গোল্ডেন জুবিলি আর মস্কোতে গতি গোল্ডেন জুবিলি ইয়ারত মানে একটা অনুরোধ করব আপনাদের তার নতুন এডুকেশন পলিসির উপর একটা আকর সেমিনার একটা পাতার ব্যবস্থা কারণ আজি যাতে দুদিন যদি আলোচনা বিলোচনা হয়েছে নতুন এডুকেশন পলিসি সম্বন্ধে আরো রোব লাগছিল আসলে মানে এই যদি ইন্টারেস্ট আসলো এই কারণে যে নতুন এডুকেশন পলিসি আমার শেষ করে দিল আমার শেষ করে বহুত বিভিন্ন ধুয়া ধুয়া শব্দ আছে তাদের পলিসি খুব আর এটা আপনার জলস্তর যা হয়েছে তার মানে প্রাইভেট এডুকেশন কি হল মানে ছাত্র ছাত্রীর সংখ্যা বাড়িছে বাড়িছে ফুর্তি ফুর্তি পারে নাই বাধ্য বাড়িছে বাধ্য বাড়িছে কারণ এই প্রাইভেট সেক্টর নিদিলে এটা পাবলিক সেক্টর অবস্থা কি হয়েছে আপনাদের গমে পায় এজন হেরি এখন পেপার কোয়া আছে তিনশো চোদ্দখন স্কুলত এজন শিক্ষক আপনি আপনার সকলেতে এল পি স্কুল পড়েছিল কিন্তু এল পি স্কুলে পড়া আপনাদের কোচন স্কুলত কিছু নয় কি কোম্পানির স্কুল চলে নাই গতি এই চলি আছে তার এজন শিক্ষকে তার পাঁচটা ক্লাস শিকায় আচ্ছা গতি আপনাদের সব কেন ধরনের শিকাইছে তো গতি এখানে স্কুলত যার অল্প সাংমর্থ্য আছে কেউ পড়াব লোক ছোট সেই কারণে আজিকালি ঠেলা ওলা রিক্সা ওলায়ও তার মানে হেরি দরকার হলে মাস মাসুমা খাওয়াটো বাদ দি পেলায় সেই পয়সা সেভ করে পেলায় প্রাইভেট স্কুলে পড়া এই হয়েছে বাস্তব সত্য এটা আজি যে কে আপনার অনলাইন এডুকেশন করবেন তার এই সেমিস্টার সিস্টেম করবেন আমার গুয়াহী মনে পিছিয়ে গুয়াহী ইউনিভার্সিটি বদনাম করে হওয়া নাই গুয়াহী ইউনিভার্সিটির যদি আমার বিপিচলিয়া কলেজ গুয়াহী ইউনিভার্সিটির আন্ডারত গুয়াহী ইউনিভার্সিটির আন্ডারত যে ধরনের পরীক্ষা চলছে যে ধরনের রিজাল্ট দিছে লড়া ছোল ইয়ারপা পলাম যদি অক্সফোর্ড নাইবা কেমব্রিজর আই পেলায় ইয়াতে নিউ ডি হায়ার এডুকেশন দখল করে তাহলে গুয়াহী ইউনিভার্সিটির ডিব্রুগড় ইউনিভার্সিটির লড়া ছোল বিচারি নাপাম নাপাব এই কারণে মানে একটা উদাহরণ কোথাও মানে রিটায়ারমেন্টের পিছন এন ইফ কলেজের আকর অধ্যক্ষ হিসাবে গেছে তাতে তার মানে যা বছর নভেম্বর নভেম্বর মাহর রিজাল্ট দিছিল তার মানে বিকমত বিকম সিক্স সেমিস্টার রিজাল্ট দিছিল কিন্তু তার রিজাল্টর ফলাফল ঘোষণা করে লিখে মার্কশিট দিছে এই হেরি মে মাহর লাস্টত মে মাহর লাস্টত দিছে লোক মানে হাহাকার করে আছে মানে তিনবার মান ভরাইছো তার মানে আনার কারণে এদিন গিয়ে পেলে মানে নিজে ওলালো তারপর দিলে মারছে তোর পিছনে সিজিপি কি আছে এই লিখা হওয়া নাই কোথাও ডেপুটি মন্ত্রালয় আছে নয় এই প্রিন্টিং ভুল হয় আগেও এটা দিছে চব্বিশখন মার্কশিট এনে নষ্ট করে পেলেছে গতি এনে ধরনের যদি এটা এই কথা কিন্তু সকলে নাজানে মানে প্রিন্সিপাল হিসাবে গম পাইছো গোটে মানে কম করে মোট যদি কোনোবা নাতি নৌকারে পড়াব লাগে মোট অফিসে লড়া ছোলা যেটা পড়াব লাগে নাই আর গোটে নাতি নৌকার পড়াব লাগে এনেকা ইউনিভার্সিটি নপড়ালে তেতিয়া কি হবো না আমার আলটিমেটলি স্কুলবিল তেনকে ধ্বংস হয়েছে ইউনিভার্সিটি কেন ধ্বংস হবো গতি সেই কারণে আমি সকলে যাতে আমার গুয়াহী ইউনিভার্সিটি ডিব্রুগড় ইউনিভার্সিটি বা আসাম ইউনিভার্সিটি ভালে থাকে আমার ইয়ার বিপি চলিয়া কলেজ থাকে এটা আপনাদের বহু কিছু মানে কে এন পি যা ইস্যু লো পেলে কথা কে পেপার দিছে কে কি এটা মাল্টি ডিসিপ্লিনারি হব মাল্টি ডিসিপ্লিনারি হব অটোনমাস হব অটোনমাস করে দেওয়ার লোক আপনার কি কয় আর্য বিদ্যাপীঠ অটোনমাস করে দিছে অটোনমাস করে দিছে ঠিক আছে ওকে কেই বছরমান পিছন যাব দিও তাহলে লেগে আপনারা অকল এক্সামিনেশন অটোনমাস দেওয়া নাই আপনার ফাইনেন্সিয়াল অটোনমিও দিয়া হয়েছে তারপর হাহাকার লাগি যাব প্রিন্সিপালের টিচারের হাহাকার অবস্থা হবে আর ফাইনেন্সিয়াল অটোনমিটো দিব আপনাদের ফাইনেন্সিয়াল অটোনমিটো লাই লাই দিব কে গভর্নমেন্টের যদি অবস্থা হয়েছে গতি গভর্নমেন্টে আর চলাব নোস্থা গতি ফরেন ইউনিভার্সিটি যদি আসে ফরেন ইউনিভার্সিটি আনব আর তার মানে 
ডিসটেন্সিলে <laughs> আপনাদের <laughs> ডুবি <laughs> ভাবেছি <laughs> ধন্যবাদ <laughs> আমি <laughs> অনুরোধ <laughs> <laughs> Zonesor called that I know I visited them or because I uh, requested them to go to Nag first because we, we need to do that hard work. Nag is very serious today but we are also serious. Okay? We are also serious. They are working seriously. I have information as well as the university. I, I am a member in the Nag moni- mentoring, not mentoring, monitoring committee. I need to monitor whether Zonesor College is working for that or not. And my task is, personally I feel, that I need to mentor. Therefore I help people. Whenever they request, Dr. Sakrabati told me, can you come? I said yes. He said, okay, please wait. We have one national seminar. Then we will be here. So those who have my number, you take it. Or those who are not having my phone number, you take from Dr. Sakrabati or Dr. Panda. At this moment, I congratulate Dr. Panda on his very successful tenure as a principal in this particular college in one of the remotest parts of India. Not only Northeast India, one of the remotest in the entire country. But for developing education, his sacrifice is everything. And I know that he works for development of education in other states and in Assam. Whenever I invited him as the Director of Human Resources, Development Center at University on behalf of UGC 
We have been to many centers in India, uh, North Bengal, Orissa, also Indore, and many. And those prayers from Indore, they talk about Dr. Panda. And when they talk about Dr. Panda, I call them. And okay, you are talking about Dr. Panda, but talk about your institution. They say, sir, please come. So I had been to Indore. And when I had been to Indore, I found people from geography, education, political science, economics. They are my friends now. And we work through them. One presenter presented about livestock, poultry, from zoology. But we need economics. So therefore, zoology and economics, if you can mix. So that way we can develop small, small things. Like what Mother Teresa said, we may not be able to do very big things in my life, but I can do small, small things with love and care. Therefore you notice that I was not disturbing anyone, those who were present in there, except you. What <laughs> kind of I but I'll help you. I'll give you that particular chance to present in other platform also, because your topic is very important, like many of us who presented. Awesome. Oh. What is soil? She talk about soil. She talk about MDL. Also many, like many of you who are highlighting, even last presenter also, highlighting very important issues. He could not get more time, but that was the private. Private institution, more than 47 percent of students in the lower level, they are attracted to private. Then what are the challenges? What are the opportunities? At a higher level also, your son and daughters, they are going to private medical colleges, private engineering colleges at a higher level. So therefore it was a big issue, but he highlighted a few points. And the other presenter from Jalasar College also talk about NEP and challenges. And all presentations are very good. Your choice of topics, very good. Your thoughts and also that uh, particularly Biman Lopper. When Biman Lopper was talking about the credit bank, that's a new concept. So he needs to go to various parts of Assam, not to talk about India or Northeast India, but he can connect to many parts of many colleges of Assam. What do we do? Normally we connect people. If I meet a person, Toilipko, I remember him as Toilipko, and also I will work with him because he is working for others. So that way, I know concluding remark is that please connect community, that will help you. If you can connect communities, because we are diversified, Assam is very important for unity in diversity, like India. It's a mini India. We are very, very fortunate. So, so I know he, he connected, he got connected to Gaji University because of a simple reason. He planted all these hilly cargos. I asked him, why only silica? Then he said, it is very important, medicinal plants and or this part of India. And he planted many thousand. I also contributed, may not be thousand, but with hundreds. And in my campus, I have five. Well, he donated. <laughs> and my son, on birthday, he planted it. It's a big tree now. It's a big tree. My son is maybe 24, 25 now. So it's a big tree. So that way I am. I know him and I remember as Surjo. Okay? Like that. Because Tamana Mojitui Kursu, ever lock pale, any bona lage. Wherever may be, where from, when. Okay? That is not important. Important that human resource get connected, work together, and respect others. So keep this message that respect is the key for our development. We need to respect others. In others, everything is there. Your view, I was listening to you and I was respecting, therefore I was not disturbing. Okay? I was not disturbing anyone because I was, he was, I must respect. Because you prepare, you are coming here. But to the juniors, I advise that before to come, you practice for time. Otherwise, it is okay. Preparation is good, you know, knowledgeable person. And, but you need to, uh, like in many interviews, you may not get time. That is a okay? very challenging issue. How to talk more many with limited amount of time? So therefore you need to prepare on the, that particular line of 
acts on, acts on with time. So acts on with time will help you. Well, good luck to all of you. And in the next presentation, maybe in other colleges or other universities, we may meet together, but do not go away from the issues. You are highlighting the issues, all are important. Uh, yesterday I was not there, but Dr. Sokoboti talked about many of the issues. So therefore, speak to the issue, work together, and with this, I, I uh, wish that I will not be talking again because of time constraint. So this is my conclusion. I thank the principal and the college family and all of you and answer the guys of whom I don't know about this one. Here is how many of the people who are in the college are in the college. The people who are in the college are in the college. The people who are in the college are in the college. The people who are in the college are in the college. We wish you all the best.